For me personally, Pocket Watch has always been the relic that I've just played to unintentionally. It's a really weird relic because for somebody who likes to be very aggressive per turn and do as much as I can, I almost had to hold back with this one. So let me explain what Pocket Watch does really quick before I confuse all of you right here and now. For the new players, you are always by default drawing five cards per turn. If you play three or less cards for said turn, the next turn you will draw eight cards instead of five. This can kind of in some sort of way cut your build now being focused on that relic and that focus is draw. Because the two things that you absolutely need is draw and energy. Will that pocket watch relic be something you need to play draw instead of picking up cards for draw? To give you an idea of what this build was, it was an extremely powerhouse build. Doesn't mean that I had a lot of power cards. It means that I had just a lot of power in my attacks. I had a lot of damage. Very aggressive build, if you will. So when I have things like Blasphemy or Vault and Pocket Watch, you'll see why these things really came into play. But I'll just leave it all at that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And as always, be safe, be humble, and do what you do best. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh god. Ascension level 8. I'm so scared based off of how Ascension level 7 went. I don't know how this would go. <sighs> It'll be a tough route. What is this one? Elites are tougher? When I say this is a tough route, it could be kind of tough because... I mean, because you are fighting an elite right after this. So there's that, there's that chance of maybe you rest after this, which is nice. It's nice to... Not have to fight like two elites without resting between. You know what I mean? And that's probably the most like fair bet safe option route thing. Now, if I wanted to be even more safe with this, I could never mind. Let's say I could always do the one HP thing, but I don't do I don't see that there. Oh, uh, what's the curse gonna be? Not bad. I'll take that. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let's begin. <laughs> um. Now, I'm not too worried about that curse. You know, it starts in your hand every turn, but it's not the end of the world. It could be worse. Could be very well worse. Why the fuck did I do that? Oh, that's right, I have Devaform on, idiot. I have never really started with Devaform in Act 1 before, and now I'm trying to think what's the best thing to be utilized here. Probably attacking. All those are okay. Will we get lesson learned this time around? Oh no. But
We'll see here. <gasps> you bitch. I can play a lesson learned here. I really can. With the form and stuff, I can do it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's get that upgraded. Okay. Boy, what are you what are you gonna build off of Sash Whip and and this? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. You should probably just do a free remove here. Because why not? Doesn't cost you anything. Something in the world here. <sighs> nice. It's good picks. Man, that's a good picks. I have to go with this though, I think, because I think that's just like the call. With eruption. That has to be the call. And then I honestly think right now that we should just rest. And we should really play the lesson learned here. Oh. Well, I'm doing this. turn and I really really don't want to do any more than that Might be able to finish him here. Okay. Now that's going to be important. Every time you play three attacks, you gain one dexterity. That's very important to start getting some strike cards. Like right now. It's even bigger. Because now we don't have to... Yeah, let's buy... Let's buy... Let's buy three. Because maybe one's better. Okay. Perfect. Put on this. And then I think we'll... Um, we'll save this for the other guy. No 
don't really want to I don't want to take 20 here if I do kill no oh, wait a minute get that blocking then it's not a big deal I really want what I want to be upgraded here is halt now if I can try to um, play this right I'll try to play the lesson learned here if I can prolong it Nice. Okay, that's fine too. Whew. I think Windmill Strike. I think Windmill Strike. As much as Wish is really good here, I think Devaform is just fine. And it's like... When we look at a set, I feel like this is your this is your build. And you don't need wish. At least not right now you need it. So I think you just played a windmill strike. Again, we rest because we're gonna let lesson learned do our upgrading. Getting away. I think Wallop is good. Wallop's always a good card. All right, cool. So now we can play to this. Nice. So we're actually going to play to this right now. We got it right away. So we're just going to let energy build up over time. So by. So we'll have we'll have all this energy. We'll never have to worry about it. We could just we can just play it to the energy. So by the time he wakes up, we're gonna be on six five. Hmm. I do kind of want to hit him here though for this, to be honest, to retain that. Even though he wakes up, I'm okay with that. Can't hit him three more times again, so I'm just going to defend. Defend. Oh, I could kill him here, I think. Let me see. Yeah, let's just... I don't have to, though. Oh, 
I'd rather play. I'd rather play. Ooh. Now, we don't have to rest because we can get 25 HP. We don't have to rest here. I think we should, though, because I'm just noticing it's the Guardian. No, let's just smith up. Let's smith up Lockhart. Screw it. Pocket watch, remember that. Play to that pocket watch now. Huge. I gotta really play the pocket watch. Can kill here, but I kind of want to do this. So I can make sure I get an upgrade. Ooh, and another, and another lesson learned, huh? It's kind of overkill, though. Now, the thing is... Our deck is kind of getting countered to Pocket Watch, okay? Pocket Watch is absolutely huge when utilized in certain situations, like when you have to play Devaform, and that's the only thing you can play. It is absolutely huge, because you get more turn, draw, whatever it might be. But Devotion, on the other hand, is an interesting pick because it allows you to gain over time, and it's not the end of the world. I think we play to it. I think we try it. Now, holding on to cards is huge, especially with Lesson Learned. Because you can wait to draw that card. You can hold on to it and really have your deck be upgraded. 
Everything's like Runic Pyramid. I think I've done this before, but I don't really know. Otherwise, we can transform our cards. Because part of me wants to get rid of two strikes and one defend. And that's just counterintuitive. That doesn't help us. Copy Drifter's just not going to help. If it was the other one, where it was smithing, I would be fine because I can just use this to my to my playing field here. I just, the reason I'm hesitant on Runic Pyramid is because it's counterintuitive to something like Pocket Watch. And I want to utilize Pocket Watch. I do. I want to be able to utilize that. I don't want to be like, ah, I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I, I want to be able to play it, but I also want to not be like, this is the only time we can play it. You know what I mean? Things like when we already have like Simmering Fury to draw cards the next, next turn, all this. I, I don't feel like we need this. Because we've already got some draws going, so I'm going with this. And we're going to get rid of... Um, well, let's see. Probably one strike. It's kind of a tough choice, because... I feel like I'm limiting myself if I get rid of two strikes. But am I limiting myself? I should at least keep one of each. So we'll do this, this, and this. Wow. So Master Reality, Vault, and Blasphemy. So not only do we just feel like, hey, fuck Devotion, we could just go straight into Blasphemy. That's crazy. That's crazy. No. That's insane. That's actually pretty wild. Also, if you look in the top left of your screen, you'll see 69 nights. Already liking this. What about the shops? I don't think that's worth it for shop. could do... that won't work. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to play the pocket watch. play to my relics, man. Sometimes I gotta take the nine for the sake of dexterity or whatever it might be. will be good with Master Reality, I think. Otherwise, we can retain a block card. It's... They're both upgraded, man. Yep. They're both upgraded. I'd say if anything you need right now is probably... It's probably this. Hmm. But it's not worth... It's not worth that. Wow, we're getting really generous here, aren't they? Well, if we want to play the pocket watch, I think the most viable decision here is to do this. 
with this, and then this, and then end the turn. Lesson learned will not come into play here, but what I can do is I can play to Vault. So we'll go like this. The goal here is just to kill. There's no reason to lesson learn it, just get it over with. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need this. I don't think I need that either. We're okay. Here's where I'm going to go this, play the bucket watch. Imagine playing boss me right there. Just kill your run, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Just kill the run. It was fun while it lasts. Now, Blasphemy is super stupid here, but I was just trying to think, like, how would you... No, we got to do Devaform for sure. And play that. And then we'll just play Devotion. Again, we're playing the Pocket Watch. Here's where I can take an extra turn. With Vault, which I probably will. I'm going to stay in it. I'm going to stay in it because I can. If I don't get lesson learned here, which I don't, we'll kill him. Here's where I'll take some blocking. As long as we keep playing to pocket watch, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think we just heal. And again, we played a pocket. We played it. We played a lesson learned. Okay. I don't want to, if we, we want to rest here, we can rest. Otherwise, if you feel like you want to upgrade, upgrade, but you do not have to because you have a lesson learned to play to. So personally, I would rest because you have lesson learned.
So I would do... Probably should have played Blessing, but that's okay. Here I'm not going to play to it. Because of the scaling. Could actually play this. I will see. If we can't, we got to make sure we block here. Either it's going to be lesson learned or wallop. We can kill it. Nice. Okay, good. That's even bigger. Now you're seeing we only got 20 cards in our deck. It's pretty small, but it's also pretty basic. But I know what I'm going with. I know what I'm playing with. I know what I want. Now something like this could technically help with that additional... Um, like just playing to cards with three in a turn and just getting that little poke damage. And trying to play to this. So I'm gonna pick this up in the form of that. And now again, we can rest. Nice. So tungsten rod now. Now I'm going to upgrade because we can, because we're at good health. Why don't we just use it? And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Because then we'll get this in four turns instead of three. Or not four. Well, that doesn't make no sense. Why would I go backwards? You know what I mean. So again, we're going to play to three cards here. Let's put on... play that way. It's not smart. I don't want to go calm into eruption. That'd be stupid. Just to get the extra blocking, they would do so much damage to me, so I think the most productive turn is probably to go like this, and then just play this, and then just end the turn. No reason to go eruption, no reason to do anything else but that, but Pocket Watch will come into play. We'll take 13 instead of 14. Now we can do our vault if we wanted. However, I am noticing that he wants to blasphemy me. Or not blasphemy me, but he wants to uh, hurt me. And I'm kind of thinking he wants to do it super quick, doesn't he? So we're going to play Vault here. I 
could say we hang on to this protect if we can't kill him. So now if I use this energy... I can get him out of there. your cards what's most productive here <sighs> that because we can still play we can still play to our pocket watch Here I'm not going to play to pocket. Well, I can actually. What am I talking about? Still technically can play to pocket watch, can't I? That's probably going to kill if I go into this, because that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Nice. And if we're in calm already, why don't we get something like Stance to help with that? Get some energy. Now here's where I'm going to go... One, two, three. And now we can play to Wrath. I saw that we can go into Calm if I need to, so I will play to that if necessary. And I can't play three strikes to get this up. Since we can block fully, we don't have to play any more than this, let's just retain. Now, we might get lesson learned here, actually. We can probably play the lesson learned here. Thirty-two, probably this. Nice. <sighs> right now, this is telling me I don't have to. This is telling me I don't have to. Wallop I don't need because it's it's fine. But let's play Conclusion's not the call to me. 
this is not the call. Maybe defending for more energy if I really want to go crazy on a turn to play interesting, but I mean, that's probably the call is to probably take empty body, to be honest. All right. So what do we replace? Probably damage. Oh, here we can play to this, but we're going to actually instead... Do this with this so that I can play to my uh, relic. Nice. We can also get lesson learned in here, or we can not get lesson learned, but um, vault if we wanted. this, and then we're going to go extra turn, because we can. That would do 60, am I understanding that correctly? I don't want to do the math. I just want to kill him. Ooh, Conjure Blade? I mean, maybe. Maybe. That might be one of those situations where I feel like it's not going to help with Pocket Watch. It might not come into play for certain things, and... I mean, it might be really good for a situation like this if we're, like, in Blasphemy, but it's, like, it's not a... It's shuffled into your draw pile, too, which isn't bad when you after you play it, depending on if you manipulate it well. You know. I'll try it. But I'm not guaranteeing shit. Now. 51. We'll have full health here. What does this car get upgraded to, by the way? Is it just a plus one? Yeah. So if it's the first card I get, which I do, I'm going to play it this way. Okay. Okay. We can take the 18. Fine. I'm also going to put this on and this on. I'm actually going to do this because I can. I'll do this, this, and this. Okay. good decks. Nice Master Reality. Do I want to play this? And then go into Empty Fist to get more energy? Now I have two. That I could play this. But I still want to play Devotion. 
So this is a longer fight, and I should... I should play Devotion here, even though it's going to hurt Pocket Watch. There's no chance that you will end up going and getting a Calm card after this, so you might be hurting yourself if you do that. This is kind of a lame turn. But, it does set up for Pocket Watch, though. There's no way you can play Dex unless you want to go... I don't want to play that way. I don't want to play to Dex. Because I don't want to do the two and the eruption, and then I'm like, I don't got anything... I don't got any way to play Pocket Watch here well, so... It's not worth... It's too scary to even attempt. Yeah, see, I would have been screwed. So let's do this for blocking. This and this. Play it safe. Now I can do whatever the hell I want. Devaforn is probably the call here. Again, we're going to be in a great turn here. Because we'll be in Divinity. So a card like this will do 99 damage. This will do 111. There's no lesson learned. <laughs> okay. Fine. But hey, man, that was great. <laughs> I'll take that any day, dude. We didn't really even need to play Deva form there, but I did. But Devotion came into play. That was a great pickup for Act 1. So nice, dude. Beautiful. Oh, Deva form again. No. But this is a good card. Because of things that are retainable. So, those are good cards. Now, again, you could say, well, that could go against my whole pocket watch, but it doesn't mean you have to play it. Okay? But it is nice when you can set up turns like Carve Crave or Carve Reality. Every other turn, it costs zero energy. It's a very good synergy. Ooh. I could literally play Pandora Box for one card. I could play Pandora Box for one card. One. That's an interesting thing that I've never done. But it would be interesting. And I have said before in the past that picking up something like Pandora Box in Act 3 wouldn't be so bad if I knew I didn't have a lot of strikes and defense. It's not bad. It's almost like Astro in a way. And if we would have had... only It's one card, man. It's one card. I want to try it. Like water. Okay. Now all of our base cards are gone. And how has how Lesson Learned came into play here? It's missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more chances of upgrades, possibly.
Man, where is the shop? I haven't been to a shop yet all this run. Awaken one. I see you. Okay, we'll play three cards right now. We'll get blocking. It's not a lot of blocking, but it's blocking. But I haven't been afraid too much of taking damage in this. I feel like I've been okay. Now again, production speaking. Productively speaking, however you want to word it. It probably would make sense play this for more energy the next turn but if you want a lot of blocking in this turn it doesn't hurt I'm not gonna play the pocket watch because I can't You have the vault here, too. Which I think is the most productive thing to do here in this turn. Blasphemy is the call. Right. I mean, they hit pretty hard always in the first turn, and I'm not, I can't be too concerned about how that went. Once we got our attack cards and we went pretty quickly, it was like, all right, we're good. Nothing to be too concerned here. However, is there anything you feel like you're missing? I mean, I probably would say it wouldn't hurt maybe getting another attack in our, in our deck. But is that attack card you want? Otherwise, you don't have to worry about it too much. I just think getting something with more draw isn't the choice here because of pocket watch. I can manipulate pocket watch. And exiting your stance isn't like, okay, cool, I can exit my stance, but I already kind of have that, and I feel like that'll pay off when I need it to. I probably would, if anything, probably just skip. Or pick up another sash whip, too. Let's pick up another sash whip.
this, maybe? Okay. Okay. I think potions are the call here in this shop because we have we have slots for it. So I say we pick up this and this for sure. Because I don't think the other things really matter too much. Maybe wheel, maybe wheel kick. I'd say if anything, we're maybe missing is maybe these three cards, or maybe even like this and just this. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's this and this. I think that's your deal. I think that's what you take. Probably people were maybe expecting me to pick up some relics there, but sometimes that's not always the call for me. Now, do I want to play to Deva form or do I want to play to Pocket Watch? Let's do this, this, and this. Again, we can vault. Thirty six, thirty six. to get more confident with that blasphemy I think now I'm glad that we're able to rest before this because that's what scares me is usually when I can't rest before it productively speaking will probably be this And this. It's a lot of damage. And I know I can't kill him with because it's only gonna be five. It's gonna be like what? You're gonna exit calm. Well, I can do math, but I know it's not gonna be 184. When you exit calm, you're going to be in blasphemy, right? You have to consider that you're probably not going to kill him with 30 plus 24 plus what is 27 times 3 plus 30 plus 36 plus 30 plus 36. Hang on. I'm going to get my phone. Because I will consider doing this. <laughs> okay, so I have my phone in front of me. I'm under the assumption if I go Blasphemy, I'm going to get at least five energy, I think. Is that what I'm going to have? Probably. Buddy, on top of this, you get three. So wouldn't you get... You have to consider that if I'm exiting stance, I'm going to get two energy plus three. So really, I'm going to have... Eight energy. That's what I think I'm going to have. Minus one, probably for using the card, so seven. So I'm going to have seven energy to do this. Pretty much. 
So if I go 36, 30, 30, 36, right now we're at 132. That's gonna be 18 times three. That's gonna be 54. So 132 plus 54, that's 186. I think it kills. I think it kills. You know what? And if I'm wrong, this is the most catastrophe, blasphemy situation in the world. Let's see what happens. So I was right on that. So I went like this. Then I do this. Then I go like this. Then I play that. Then I play this three times. That was the longest math I ever had to do. But this is why I'm so afraid of drawing that card. <laughs> because I don't know how it's gonna do, but clearly it's very powerful when you uh, are in calm. So now I know that. If you exit, if you're in calm, you go into blasphemy, you'll have seven energy if you have three stacked on. Good to know. Be asking yourself, why the hell are you playing a game that involves all this math? I don't know. <sighs> hmm. Worship and devotion? And then some blocking, maybe? Okay, it's already your next turn. Let's see what kind of cards we get. And I think since we have extra turns, we might as well just do this because it'll help us with energy maybe in a future turn. You gotta think so differently. Let's see what happens. We can go into, we can, okay, this is actually okay. Because now the next turn will actually be in, um, will actually be in, uh, we'll have a very fun turn here is what I'm trying to say.
Wean it in again. Nice. That's actually huge because Lesson Learn has not come into play here. I'd say sure. We can pick this up. And now we rest again. Okay, kind of late for that, but sure. Sure, because it doesn't matter. We're not going to find another shop unless it's that, and I'll kick myself, but whatever. Okay, we're going to uh, rest again, because we can. Rough room here, but it's not the worst thing. It's a really good turn. But I also want to draw the three. So we're going to do this. God, that's a good turn. That's a very good turn, man. Ah, oh, that's a good turn. I want to play. I want to play to it. Vaults, it's good. Could play to it. I kind of want to play to Deva form here, or not Deva form, but um. Lesson learned. Uh, I can still do it though. No, I can't. Yes, I can. 
Stressful. I want to I want to risk blasphemy so bad dude because I feel like I can do it without doing math It's scary, but I think I can do it. Do you can kill him? I can kill him. <sighs> that blasphemy is gonna come into fucking clutch. I'm telling you right now, if the fucking if this is this is exactly what it should do. Oh my god. It'd be tough. Not gonna lie.
I'll give a dev a form again. Come on, video game. Think I'm that gritty? Yes! No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do this. Alright, we should be at pretty damn close to full HP for this fight. It'll be tough. If anything, this run has been telling me is that it's been really just like going through it kind of in an aggressive style, especially with Blasphemy. Blasphemy has been a huge carry in Act 3. And it might have to be a carry here, but it cannot be a carry in first phase. So we'll see how it goes. Start with two strength now. So I'm going to play this. As much as I want to. cards do I have left to upgrade? Simmering Fury, like Water, Weave. Otherwise, I was thinking... I 
gonna be tough. Can't play Blasphemy here, it makes no sense. Okay, now we got some blocking now. Take 18. We have nothing to block here. <sighs> Unless we do this. Not enough to block. <sighs> well, we might as well. We're going to be dead here. But I'm going to go all out. We're dead. But I knew I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. If I would have went into wrath there, if I would have went to rage, if I would have done anything, we just didn't get those block cards, man. You might look at this deck. It's pretty aggressive. I know there's a lot of aggressive cards in this deck. There isn't a lot of blocking. But what does this tell you about the Watcher? The Watcher can get through and be so powerful that it doesn't need blocking. But sometimes when you need it the most is where it's the most difficult pill to swallow. Fun run though, nonetheless. For our first attempt of doing Ascension 8 after struggling with Ascension 7, I will be very happy with this. I think, I mean, maybe was I focusing too hard on Pocket Watch? Was that maybe the issue? I don't know. I would say, though, that maybe if we maybe would have had a few more block cards, we would have maybe been okay. Just a few more. Because when we really look at this from a just retrospective standpoint, you have this is a block card, this is a block card, this is a block card, and this is a block card. Oh, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much like what you would have for the base. So this is a very aggressive, aggressive build and I had to use blasphemy in this act to desperately get through it the big takeaway from this run was I think just playing with pocket watch whenever you played three or less cards during your turn draw three additional ones but when the biggest thing came into this was stuff like vault that came into clutch when I needed it the most blasphemy was clutch as well when I needed it the most where were you uh right here obviously it's kind of ironic but it came in clutch when I needed it the most but it killed me in the end, but still, I'm still trying to get used to this card. I'm still trying to get comfortable with this card. I think Devaform and Pocket Watch was a really good synergy because it helped if it was like, okay, this turn I'm only playing one card, but that's for the sake of the rest of the time I'm fighting this enemy so that our next turn I get really good scaling uh, or not scaling, but really good uh, draw because I only drew one for because of the sake of Devaform. 
It was a good attempt. But I did all that I could do. And I guess that's all that matters. But we'll keep trying, as I always have said. So, GG's nonetheless. Good try, Awaken One, and I will probably get you next time. Because you've actually... Awaken One actually has had a quite losing streak against me. This is a while since Awaken One's actually defeated me, so... GG's for actually conquering me this time. But I'll get you next time. I'll get you next time.